Hey, checkers. What? What are we going to draw today, dude? We're going to draw a pea shooter from Plants vs. Zombies. Yes. Sounds awesome. All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, good. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. And we use a Sharpie, huh? Mm -hmm. Because it shows up nice and dark. Yeah. And we've already drawn something from Plants vs. Zombies, too, haven't we? Yeah. What did we draw? We drawed a zombie. Yes, he was awesome. He turned out really cool. He mm -hmm. got super big. We had to extend the paper. And we also colored him, huh? Yeah. We're going to color this guy, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, you ready to start? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do it. You got your marker, cap yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with our paper horizontal. And we're going to start with his mouth. And it's a big oval. We're going to do it up here in the top right. And it's a big oval that's just kind of up and down, straight up and down. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and color it in. Now we're going to do is, uh, the lip that goes around his mouth. And we're, we're not going to connect it all the way around. But we're going to start here and then come around town <laughs> and back up. And so we want to leave this little gap right here, okay? Okay. All right, now for his head. And we're gonna start over here and then we're gonna draw a big kind of, this is one big shape. We can probably turn it this way. I'm gonna try it this way. And we're gonna start there, come out and around. I'm not sure I like that. Turn it back this way so you can see what I'm doing. Coming around. And then back into the bottom of his mouth. <laughs> Good job. I like how big yours is getting. Yours looks like he's in the middle of spitting one of the peas out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Now let's do his eyes. And those are just going to be one big oval right here. And then a little oval right next to it. A little higher. Oh. Got it? No, that's good. And then we'll do a circle inside of that. And then we can color that in. And we got it. Look at his head. It looks awesome. Good job, Kay. Now let's do the leaf on the back of his head. So we're going to do a big curved line that comes out and down, curls around. Good. And then we're going to start back over here. I'm going to bring this just a little further down. We're going to start up about halfway up this line and do an S line right back into his head. See how that's an S? It's kind of a backwards S though, right? And a sideways S. <laughs> Good. Okay, and then we'll do the little leaf line right there. Good job. And then we're gonna finish the back side of this leaf by putting a little line right there. Awesome, we're done with his head. Ready for his body? Yeah. Okay. All right, next step we're going to draw is this little part of his neck. Got it? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw two lines that come down and they're kind of curved like that. Good. You want to leave a little room down at the bottom because we're going to draw the leaf next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to draw a little curved line that connects the bottom two. Just like this. Okay? And that's the start of the first leaf. Then we're going to come back right here where, the, where those two come together and do another curved line. Comes out. Mine got a little wobbly. I can come back in and straighten it a little bit here. Okay? Then we do a little a little line back and then we're going to draw the rest of the leaf curling down and you can do a little hook on the end. Good. Okay, let's finish this leaf. We're going to come back to the point and curl around. So a little S, S line. Good. And then we'll do a little V, upside down V. 
and then we're going to curl back in and finish the leaf. Like that. Yes, good <laughs> job. <laughs> That's, all right. That's okay. Okay, now let's do the next, we'll do the next leaf right next to this one. So uh, on the right side, so we do a little curve line up. And we'll do this one a little bit different so that we can get the, sh the leaf looking a little bit more like a leaf shape. So we'll do another curve line right on top of that one. My lines are a little, a little wobbly today, huh? <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the curve line down here at the bottom, and this will help us so that the whole leaf shape will, it'll look more like a leaf shape. Good, and then we do a little V, upside down V again, right there. Okay, and then we'll do this S line, comes up and around, kind of curl around, kind of like this side. Good, and then this line will just bring down into a point like that. So this line right here, curl and finish. Good. Yeah, I like how you went all the way around. That's good. I like it. Okay, you ready for the next? The, now he has two more leaves and they're on the back and we're going to make them look like it's 3D okay. and they're behind his the stem and behind these other leaves. Okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to go halfway up the stem and we're going to just draw a little line that comes out. Good, and then we'll do another. This time we'll do a right side V. Good, and then we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna put a little upside down U right there. Okay, now we're going to connect the top of this, these two together like that. Mm -hmm. So the top of the V and connect to the, to the bump over here, the upside down U. Yeah, just like that. And then we're gonna put the back of this leaf right there. It's a little line, so it looks like the leaf is coming up and then curling back around and you can see a little piece over here. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's do the middle of that leaf. So a little line that comes up the middle. Mm, where? Right here. Good, okay. And then we, we have this other leaf over here. So we're gonna go halfway up the leaf again and draw a curved line into the stem. And we can draw a little curved line over here, just a small one, about halfway, well, yes, right there. And then we'll do another V, good, and then an upside down U, similar to over here. Good, and then we'll put a little line, little line right here, little line. Yep, and then connect them. Connect the top. There you go. And then we'll come back over here and draw a little diagonal line for the back of that leaf. So it looks like this leaf's coming up and then curling back. Good job. Okay, now let's finish it. We'll just put that little line right there and we're done. Yes, look at that, man. You drew the pea shooter. He's awesome. Should we color him? Yeah. All right, let's get our oil pastels. Okay, dude, we got our oil pastels. First, we're gonna use we're gonna use a lot of green. So we're gonna get a dark green and a light green, okay? And the first step we're gonna do is the head. And we're going to color, oh, that all came off. That's all right. We're gonna put a, a light layer of light green. So we're not gonna press very hard, just really lightly and cover the whole, his whole head. Good job, Kate. Now we can get the dark green and we're gonna put just a little layer, a light layer on the very bottom of the head, pea shooter head. And I'm going with the shape of his head. So we kind of make this S line. And the bottom part can be a little bit darker. Go ahead and do a very thin, dark, edge on the very bottom. 
Good, all the way to the edge right there. And then I'm going to do a little thin dark line on the very bottom of his mouth. Good, and then we wanna fill that in too, right at the edge. Then we're gonna get our light green back and we'll speed this part up, but we're gonna do a heavy or, or press harder over top of all of this. So we'll put one more layer on top of the whole thing and we'll press hard, okay? Okay. Should we speed it up? Yeah. All right, let's do let's it. Let's do it right now. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. Good job. I took a little white and I put a little white spot right there and a little white edge on the side of his mouth. And then I used the dark and we went back in, just put a little shadow underneath his eyes. Whoops. And some other yeah. color on there. So we keep with our uh, oil pastels, it's a good idea to keep a scratch piece of paper on the side so that you can get some of the other colors that you pick up off because sometimes when you go back down on a light color you don't want to you don't want to put another color down so if you went over orange or and that kind of made a little mess of his eye there but that's okay all right okay you ready for the next step no <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing your white yeah cool and done good job all right so now we're gonna we're gonna keep using this dark green and we're gonna come down and do his uh, neck and we'll do this leaf. Did you do it hard? Yeah, go ahead and do a heavy layer. Press pretty firm, firmly. And we'll fill in the stem and then this leaf back here, okay? Okay. All right, let's speed it up. Right now. All right, you got it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna use this light green again and we're just gonna put a thin layer over here on this leaf. And go ahead and fill the whole thing in. Oh. Good. All right, Kate. Okay. Now we're going to add a little shadow, a drop, a cast shadow on the leaves to make it even look more 3D. Okay. So we'll come back over here on this back leaf, and we're going to add a layer. And I'm just adding it on part of the leaf. I'm leaving a little bit of light on this back on the back side. And then filling everything else in. And you especially want to fill in this little section right here in the back, the underside of that leaf. Okay, and then we're going to come over to this side and we'll do the same one on this side. We can fill that in, the underside of the leaf. And then we'll do a little curved line right like this. And this is going to look like the shadow from the top of his head. And then fill this side in. Doesn't that look like a shadow is kind of being cast down on that leaf? Mm -hmm. It's cool. And then we can go back over everything with this light green and fill it in a little bit harder, press harder, so it looks more solid. Good job, checkers. Okay, and I took the dark green and I went back down to these first leaves, the front leaves, and I put a little edge around the outside of the bottom of the leaf. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it puts a little, it just adds a little three dimension to the leaf. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is a really cool pea shooter, man. Did, yeah. you, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. He looks really good. I like the shading. So on the zombie, we did the crisp shading. Remember that, where there was a hard edge with the shadow? And then on the plant that we just drew, we did a gradated shading. So it goes from dark and then it gets gradually lighter as it goes towards the top of the, the, the head of the plant. Is that cool? <laughs> we hope you guys had fun drawing your pea shooters with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Oh.